So this week it is Winter Nam 2021, and this year it's being done slightly differently. So far we've had some interesting announcements from PRS, Fender, we've had some from Blackstar, and we've also had some from Boss that we're going to be diving into in today's video. Now later this week there will be much more major announcements coming from all of these different brands, so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you get videos as soon as those announcements happen. But today I want to take a look at these new pedal boards that Boss has released. They've released a new range of their BCB pedal boards. Now this is probably one of their most iconic pedal board ranges because the previous range has been out for almost two decades. So we've got three new pedal boards. We've got the BCB 30X, the 90X, and we have the BCB 1000, all of which tailor and are accommodated around different levels of musicians. Now obviously the 30X is orientated around a beginner pedal board accommodating for three Boss Stompbox design pedals, something like a Boss RC3, Boss OC5 and maybe a tuner pedal for example. And then the next level up is the BCB 90X. Now this has got me the most excited, one from its most versatility standpoint and I really like the layout of this pedal board design as well. So what we're getting with the BCB 90X is a new design to accommodate the new range of Boss pedals. Because obviously now from Boss we've got the 500 series of pedals and we also have the 200 series of pedals. Whereas when the previous BCB pedal boards, the 30 and the 60, came out uh, almost two decades ago, those pedals clearly did not exist and the shapes of Boss pedals have evolved and the pedal boards need to evolve to obviously accommodate them. Now currently at the moment in my live looping rig setup on my pedal board which we recently built you can check out over here I'm running two Boss RC500 loop stations and the Boss GT1000 core for all of my guitar processing abilities. Now I built my most recent pedal board on the Pedal Train Classic Junior and something I don't like about those more traditional pedal boards like the one that I used for that build is the fact the power supply is external. You have to buy an additional power supply and mount that to the undercarriage of the pedal board with like Velcro and it's not the most stable connection for transporting the pedal board around because you're very susceptible to cables becoming unplugged or the power supply falling off. Whereas with the BCB90X we have an integrated power supply. Now with this integrated power supply you can power up to 10 Stompbox design boss pedals using the provided daisy chain cable that will come inside of the box. Now something that you can combine with the integrated power supply are the designated cable channels. So underneath the actual pedal plate of the board are designated cable management channels that allows you to have very neat wiring but also reduce the chance of any loose cables being snagged or pulled out of the pedals during transportation which is a problem I personally have with other pedal boards on the market. Now one concern I do have with the power supply taking a look at it is it does look like it only supports 9 volt pedals and in all of the pictures Boss are showing the Boss GT1000 core on this pedal board and obviously the Boss GT1000 core requires more than 9 volts power in order to power that guitar processing unit so one would assume you still have to have a designated power plug that's separate for your Boss GT1000 core which is a little bit of a shame because it does reduce the amount of plug and play capabilities the 90X does offer. Now on the topic of the plug and play capabilities of the BCB 90X, a really cool feature is the integrated junction boxes. So this means we have a dedicated input on the actual pedal board that goes directly into all of the pedals on our board. And then from that point we have two outputs and we also have a send and return effects loop, all of which we can send directly out really easily from our pedal board. This is really cool. I, I think this, it was on the older pedal boards, but I think it's a really innovative idea, especially for people trying to mitigate the amount of cables and really simplify the setup when it comes to plugging their pedal board in on stage. Now, if you're looking for a pedal board with a much greater build quality and a more professional design orientated around touring musicians, then you're probably going to want to explore the Boss BCB 1000. This is perfect for people who fly a lot due to its suitcase-like design. Now the BCB 1000 is a suitcase pedal board that's on wheels so it means you can drag it around so if it's got very high-end pedals in there that are quite heavy it's not going to be too fatiguing to transport a lot when you're traveling for hours on end and also they've tried their best to obviously design it like a suitcase that's small enough to fit into the overhead luggage so it really reduces the amount that you have to part ways with your case during the traveling process because that's very stressful thousands of pounds worth of pedals not being able to keep them by your side I like the fact that they've kept it as small as possible 
for that reason. Now with the BCB1000, you do get an aluminium actual floorboard for the pedals to go onto. So it's much more superior build quality for a more intense life that it's going to undergo when you're touring and you have that intense schedule out on the road. So just like with the BCB90X, we've got the integrated junction box with both an instrument input, and this time we only have a mono slash stereo output. There's no form of an effects loop for routing effects loop pedals within the pedal board, which if that's something you wanted, you may be slightly disappointed. Now the pricing for these pedal boards here in the UK is as follows. For the BCB30X, it's going to be 43 pounds. For the BCB90X, it will be 175 pounds. And for the BCB1000, you're looking at 350 pounds. Now, if you want to see more announcements from NAM 2021, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be picking up a Boss 90X in the future, so be sure to turn the notification bell to on so you don't miss that video when I upload it. But as always, I've been Ben Rollins. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.